Navalny could have been killed behind Putin's back, ex-MI6 officer. Russian opposition leader Alexei Navalny was killed in prison. The murder could have been orchestrated behind the back of Russian President Vladimir Putin, according to the former MI6 officer Chris Steele. He spoke about this with Ukrainian Jenny Meets channel. I don't have definite information on that, but obviously I sometimes think of a parallel case of Nelson Mandela when he was imprisoned on Robben Island and the South African authorities while holding him in prison and they won't let him out or whatever, realizing that in the longer term Mandela would be a potential leader of the country who could unify the country and therefore he shouldn't be out, dropping the regime, but not should he be tortured or killed because he was an insurance policy, in a sense politically, which turned out to be the right policy actually in South Africa. But I think in Russia it was not that case. I think he was killed, Steele said. The former British intelligence officer noted that he doesn't know who could be behind Navalny's killing. I mean the problem with Russia as you know is that although Putin is in charge, everyone's afraid of him. They also are doing all sorts of things behind his back including killing each other, damaging each other and discrediting each other which was going on for years, the former officer said. Steele pointed out numerous cases of Russian oil executives deaths. There were five in Look Oil alone last year. That doesn't suggest a stable leadership, he added. In February 2024, Russian opposition leader Alexei Navalny died in a Russian prison where he had been since 2021 when he returned to Russia. Russia claims that Navalny's cause of death was a thrombus. The EU and NATO imposed sanctions against Russia following the opposition leader's death. Some Western media outlets speculated that Russian dictator Vladimir Putin was involved in Navalny's death. However, the Wall Street Journal recently reported citing American intelligence services that Putin may not have given the order for Navalny's killing, though this does not absolve him of responsibility. Russian troops dug into Chernobyl's irradiated dirt, cooked food over radioactive campfires. At the start of Russia's full-scale invasion of Ukraine, the Kremlin's ignorance of radiation danger at Chernobyl stood out as a prime example of Moscow military bumbling. It still does, according to Kyiv Post media outlet. It is noted that Russian soldiers invading Ukraine in February 2022 ignored station worker warnings to avoid terrain contaminated by radiation from the Chernobyl nuclear power plant accident and hundreds of them lived for more than a month in trenches dug into ground saturated with potentially lethal isotopes, eyewitnesses and nuclear scientists said. Valery Semenov, security chief at the Chernobyl nuclear power plant from February the 23rd to April the 3rd, 2022, in an interview with the Kyiv Post, said Russian troops entering the premises showed little interest in research compiled over almost two decades on fallout and hot spot sites around the station. Chernobyl's reactor number four exploded, caught on fire and dumped catastrophic volumes of radioactive dust into the land around it and into the atmosphere following an April the 26th, 1986 failed maximum power test. It was the worst nuclear power accident in history. Russian aircraft in the first hours of the Kremlin's February the 24th, 2022 invasion of Ukraine ignored long-standing no-fly rules into airspace above the plant and Russian armored columns used roads cutting straight across a 2,500 km square exclusion zone rigged with barbed wire fences and radiation warning signs. A road inside the Chernobyl exclusive zone is marked by radiation warning signs and a notice that the visitor is entering the Red Forest, some of the most irradiated terrain in the world. Transit is possible inside vehicles or wearing protective gear, but station scientists warn that a person present in the area, even for an hour, risks potentially lethal radiation exposure. According to station personnel, between 300 and 600 Russian troops dug in and lived in the area for about a month in March 2022. Subsequently, Russian aircraft began flying, passing just 30 meters above the station. They traversed over the power unit, including the reactor that was destroyed in 1986, Semenov said. 
despite nuclear power plants being deemed closed zones under the international law, with overflights of any aircraft prohibited, they disregarded these regulations. Ukrainian plant workers said 200 to 300 Russians with weapons and combat vehicles were stationed inside the station premises, where they constructed fighting positions and dugouts. Images published by the Ukrainian state-run news agency Ukrinform showed trenches dug to the height of a man and two-meter-tall HESCO-type military barriers filled with Chernobyl sand lacing open ground around station buildings. A technician stated the dirt the Russians excavated is irradiated four or five times above safe levels. Ukraine's Minister of Energy, German Galushchenko, speaking to reporters following Russia's early April retreat from northern Ukraine, including the Chernobyl station, said that Russian soldiers who dug into the Red Forest not only exposed themselves to radiation, but helped irradiate their comrades by filling sandbags with dirt excavated in the area for the construction of defensive positions around the station itself and defensive reinforcement of power station offices occupied by Russian officers. Smaller personal items taken from lethally irradiated buildings sometimes were handed over to Russian officers as souvenirs who then spent weeks with items contaminated with deadly but invisible radiation, sometimes on their desks, he said.